Hey community, we're back. And I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And together we are B and B, the, the community, community MPs. MPs. So today we're gonna be talking about obesity. obesity. Yes. yes, yes. So yes. that's what uh, we bring that up a lot, <laughs> but today is focused on just obesity. So B, what is obesity? So obesity is defined by your BMI, which is your body mass index. That number is calculated by um, based off your height and your weight. So a normal BMI would be <laughs> 18 to 25. And then, so anything over 25 but less than 30 is considered overweight. And then anything above 30 is obese. There's different classes to obesity, but anything greater than 40 okay. is morbidly obese. Oh, so I'm going to have you calculate my BMI today. Okay, we'll I'll calculate I mean. it. Okay. So some facts about obesity. So... The United States spends over $147 billion annually. Oh, my God. That's Medical a lot of money. Medical for obesity. That's a lot of money. That's oh, a lot of money. Let's blame McDonald's. Uh, I know. <laughs> Sorry, McDonald's. <laughs> um, also, 13.7 million children and adolescents are affected by obesity. So, that's just children and adolescents. 13.7 million. Kids. That's a lot. Kids. What's going on? What's going on with the kids? It's got to be what they're eating, what they're doing, and what they're not doing. Is so, things the video games? Oh, inside? for sure. Because when I was small, we, to their we would go to day like camp. We would be out playing. Yeah. We'd be out in the yard. Like, we wanted to go outside. Yeah. So, this is funny. My son, you know, he's very athletic and he likes to play sports, but my daughter's the opposite. So, he was like, Girl, you are so light skinned. He said, she's, she was like, It's because I don't go outside. I'm like, But that's a problem. Like, go, go outside. Yes, go outside. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But anyways, yeah. So, obesity in kids and adolescents, the numbers are way too high. So, also, 39.8% of adults over the age of 20 are obese. That's a lot. That's like almost half the. Population, population. 39.8% of Girl, adults are obese. We're like 10.2% away from half so of them. So we have some work to do. Yes. We do have some work to do. Yeah. And so then that, but that does explain why there's so many kids because if you are eating bad, mm -hmm. your kids are going to be eating bad. Yeah. If you're not exercising, your kids aren't going to be inspired to exercise. You're right. You're absolutely right. So some of the causes. Okay. Sedentary lifestyle. Yes. Go yes. And it, a lot of people, you know, they go to work back home that's it so i have patients that tell me well i walk at work mm -hmm. but what type of walking are you doing at work you're you're not walking to increase your heart rate you're right. just don't you walk and you may walk to, to the someone bathroom. else the bathroom, somebody <laughs> else's office yeah that's not exercise that, it doesn't so, count no it doesn't count but one of the things about sedentary lifestyle i realized especially with my older population they can't get out they can't right. move yeah they have chronic illnesses like arthritis that may prevent mm -hmm. them from exercising and moving around mm -hmm. so what do they do yeah. So I think a solution would be f at, when they're young and able to move, just to go ahead and develop healthy lifestyles, mm -hmm. and, like exercising, eating healthy, so that when you get to be older and you have these ailments that prevent you from being able to exercise, you already ha you're already eating healthy, and so you're just maintaining a good healthy weight. Okay. So it's easier to maintain than it to lose, lose weight. It is. It yeah. is. Okay. And some of the other causes. Poor eating habits, overeating, binge eating, eating too much junk food, um, and then of course, developing unhealthy habits during childhood, not getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. There's some medications that cause, um, yeah, obesity, like steroids, chronic, yeah, especially chronic use of steroids can mm -hmm. cause it. Some of the depression medications can cause it also. Right. Yeah. Yes. And then hormonal health conditions like PCOS and hypothyroidism. Okay. And we did a video on hypothyroidism, so you guys can go and check that out. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So obesity increases the risk of developing what diseases? Di I know. Mm -hmm. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, stroke, heart disease, including mm -hmm. heart attacks. Correct. Yep. Asthma cancer, sleep apnea, which is a disorder that you may start breathing when you're sleeping, and early death. Mm -hmm. Sleep mm -hmm. apnea is very common in obese people. It is. It is. It is. And then you've had a few patients. I, I had a patient who had sleep apnea so bad that he had to have a trait. That oh. was his cure for sleep apnea. Dang. Was the trait. Yeah. That's so I, and I tell my patients, if you want to cure sleep apnea, lose weight. Yeah. If you lose weight, that redundant tissue in the back of your throat it's going to shrink. Mm -hmm. So lose weight. 
Yeah. So that's the cure. And then how do, how do we prevent <laughs> obesity? You know one thing. First of all, exercise. What? what? How becoming, much exercise? Becoming more active. Mm -hmm. Exercise. At least 30 minutes most days of the week. Yes. And exercising as in break a sweat. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Break a sweat. Feel that. Get that glazed donut look on your face where you... <laughs> oh, she really wants to exercise. <laughs> where you perspiring. You, that's the kind of exercise you okay, need. Okay. So a brisk walk can do that, though. Okay. So you don't have to be, like, doing burpees and... And a marathon. Right. No, <laughs> just a brisk walk. Okay. Walk the dog. Park far from, you know, the grocery store <laughs> door. Or... Yes. If you're going to eat fast food, park, like... Okay. away from the door and then that gives you time to think about the walk up and be like do i really want this so let's talk about the parking because i have a lot of patients who come in who want parking passes the parking mm -hmm. placards the mm -hmm. car so they can park in a handicapped parking spot right yeah and sometimes some of them they, they need to walk like i know a couple of them do have arthritis but I'm, that's gonna help yes you're walking so walking from the parking lot to the grocery store to the doctor's office you know, parking is that the it's going to help. Yeah. So, and then um, improve your diet. Yes. Cut, cut. So, portion control is huge. What I, I remember you saying that instead of using a regular size plate, you use uh, any, like a sauce. A sauce. Yeah. So. And not, that's not, that she's using a saucer for her main meal course yes <laughs> not yes. dessert. Not and I just started doing that because I grew up using a big plate to eat. Mm -hmm. So, I thought. Whenever you prepare a meal, it's supposed to be on a big plate. Yeah. But now I'm using a saucer and I'm full. Like, mm -hmm. it really, I may eat more often, but I'm full at that time. But that even if you eat small, frequent meals, that gives your body time to digest the food better mm -hmm. than just eating, like, a couple huge meals. What about skipping meals? So don't skip meals because that leads, sometimes leads to, like, binge eating. You overeat yes. at the next meal and then... You really haven't benefited yourself. So that happens to me a lot. So I try my best. So sometimes I may skip lunch. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, oh, I can have me a big dinner. Like, yeah. you know, I can have something good for dinner, something big yeah. and good for dinner. So, yeah, that's one of the things I'm working on, not skipping meals. So then even if you do skip a meal, then just don't have that mentality to be like, I'm just going to eat my regular old dinner <laughs> and I'm going to be fine. Okay. My problem with skipping meals was when I first started intermittent fasting, at, I would, at noon is when I would have my first meal and I would be like, Give me all the food because I am so hungry. I haven't ate since yeah. like eight o'clock last night. Give me all the food. Yes. Yeah, so and then came to that Oh yeah, then. nope, that doesn't work. All right. So quitting smoking that 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 can help prevent. Um, but a lot of patients say that when they quit smoking, they gain weight, Brandy. So they don't, you know. Then they, it's not they purposeful. Back, sometimes they stop smoking. Yeah, they, they do. Gain weight. Yeah. So the problem with that is because people smoking is a habit. So once they leave one habit they pick up another habit and then <laughs> it happens to be eating because you have kind of have that same motion like it's people have developed that habit of putting something Into to their, their mouth, mouth. Okay. and so then now it's ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so i always tell my patients when you're ready to quit smoking just have a plan like have something you're going to replace that habit with Okay. So yeah. you, and and don't replace it with food. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And limit your alcohol intake. So most women should drink at least one drink a day, and men should have no more than two drinks a day. Correct. All right. So women no more than one. Men no more than two drinks a day. So if I don't drink Monday through <laughs> Friday, can you drink them all on Saturday? All seven drinks? Uh, that's what I want to know. Can no, I? you should I not. Can't? No, no, you should not. That's not healthy. No, no. So no. it doesn't work like that. No, no. no you can't save all your drinks and then <laughs> drink them all. Seven drinks for Saturday because yeah. I have any. Done. No, <laughs> yeah, no. Don't do or that. fourteen for the men. No, do not do that. Treatment. No. So some of the treatments. So there's no magic pill. At no all. fad diet mm -mm. for losing weight. And there's no overnight fix. No, it's not. There's some quick fixes, but they never last. Then I've struggled with obesity. Probably since high school, um, I felt as though I was obese. And when I tell you I've tried different diets, I have tried just all type of things. Mm -hmm. Medication, just, and nothing never lasts. Like, I will lose a couple of pounds, but nothing ever lasted yeah. at all. So, but you're doing good now. I'm working out daily. Yeah. So that's one of my new things, working out. And I'm trying to do portion control. Mm -hmm. You know, I still like to eat good food. Yeah. I was but, telling B earlier today. She, oh, I said, look at you, girl. You're losing weight. I'm yeah. trying. <laughs> you're doing good. You're doing I'm good. Trying. So, and that's all we can do is our best. Yes. And then, uh, so mm -hmm. 
medication can be helpful, but yes. but it isn't a long long term fix. Yeah, short term. So, yeah, and then yes. therapy. Yes. A lot of people eat more when they're stressed, depressed, anxious. Yes. So get your mental health in check, yes. and then it'll mm-hmm. be easier for you to be happier and want and more motivated yes. to work out. So yes. having a good psyche improves your ability to lose weight. Yes, because when I'm when I'm like in a good mental space, when I go to the gym, I'm, I try to kill it. Yeah, like I'm just mm-hmm. in there, like you could do this, go yep. girl, five more, don't give up on those right. spots. Yeah. Like I try my best. Yeah, yes, okay. And then just having a positive mind, just being positive, encouraging yourself. So you may not be where you want to be, but that's mm-hmm. okay. You can get there. Just be, don't beat yourself up. Don't sure. negative thoughts are not helpful. No. Also, there's surgery, mm-hmm. um, gastric bypass lap bands, gastric sleeves, so different surgeries. So, and some people do need the surgery to, to give them that push to right. lose weight. Yeah. So it, it and especially those with like um chronic illnesses, corbid um comorbidities mm-hmm. like diabetes, um high blood some of those people do need yeah, and the, people the surgery. Like the chronic back painters yes. that are obese as yes. well. Because you have that, that pain and you can't really work out um so the surgery mm-hmm. surgeries are an option yep and also one thing that we did forget was um a nutritionist or a dietitian mm-hmm. like you can actually you know a lot of the healthcare um plans even so people who don't uninsure people they still have resources for dietitians and nutritionists yep. that can help them come up with a better eating plan yeah. and just understanding the whole nutrition and yes. how it works in your body because there's foods that you don't realize break down into sugar like yes bread and stuff yes. like that yes 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 so yeah. yeah so today go ahead and tell them about our disclosure okay B. okay so um as we tell you every um video is that the purpose of this is to promote healthy conversations amongst friends and family mm-hmm. it's not to replace your primary care provider we want you guys to see your primary care provider. Yes. It's the new year. So using the new year, you can get your annual visit. Yes. So go ahead and schedule your annual routine visits with your primary care provider. And then today's video is sponsored by T3MC, Training to the Maximum Capacity. They're a personal training company that specializes in helping you reach your fitness uh, goals and, and weight loss goals. They also specialize in youth, um, sports training, athletic training, and they do like groups, okay. uh, teams, like the whole, if you have a whole team that needs to be trained, okay. they do that. And then uh, individuals. So that's a good option for kids. Where are they located at? All over the DFW. They come okay. to you. And then on, so you can check them out on Facebook at T3MC.fit. I'm going to check them out. Okay. Yep. All right. Hey, guys. And if you guys have any questions or anything, let us know. Leave comments, um, feedback. Yes. Subscribe, like. Share, share our yeah. information on um what we on YouTube, so, everything, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, so we're there. Yeah, YouTube. So, yes. Uh, yep, and that's it. Yep, that's all we have today. Have a great day. And be wait before we leave. We gotta oh. let the people know who who we are. Yes. What what our purpose is? What is our purpose? I don't know. You don't know our purpose <laughs> <laughs> to serve our community because community, community is, is our beauty. beauty.